it comes to your recovery days, I know that's something you're doing a lot this year. Is there a day in particular that you, you kind of focus on? Uh, I know this week, obviously, you were out there Wednesday, but mm -hmm. is it does it switch between Wednesday and Thursday? It just depends on week to week. Uh, it's, uh, every day, you know, I try to recover when I'm out here um, until Sunday. So it's, it's every day. Heavy emphasis trying to recover. Derek, you've told us that you don't really trash talk on the field, but with Darius Leonard of the Colts, have have you ever exchanged any words with him during a game? No, we don't really you know trash talk. Um, they talk sometimes, but it's not nothing as far as trash talking. You know, I have a lot of respect for him and his game, and uh, he's a hell of a player. So just res respect and you know, just, just a mutual thing, really. Kevin, ba Kevin Byard said that he thinks this game is more important than the Bills and the Chiefs because of the division implications. Is that something that you agree with? Yeah, I definitely agree. This is um, it's a big game for us, divisional game. We've been playing really good football. And, um, you know, it's always tough playing these guys. But, yeah, this is a very important game. What's the challenge of facing a team twice in one season, especially maybe twice within about a, a month's time? Well, I think it's just they know us and we know them. And, um, you know, we play them twice a year, and it's always a tough battle. So, you know, you just got to pay attention to the, the, the little things, the details, make sure, you know, you're um, watching more film out there, um, put heavy in heavy emphasis on what you need to do um, each and every day to be better leading up to Sunday. And it's holding each other accountable, make sure everybody you know knows what to do and um, playing fast. Derek, since 2019, every time you've faced a division opponent a second time, you end up having bigger numbers. I, I was wondering why do you think you've found more success in the second matchup um, against AFC South teams? Um, I think it's just, you know, the guys in front of me blocking us Want to be better than the, the game before, um, as an offense and, and as a team, and you know those guys up front doing a great job blocking and the receivers, tight ends, and fullbacks. And I just got to I just got there and do my job. But you know, those guys doing a great job, you know, the second game. You have four consecutive hundred yard rushing games against them. No one else has a hundred. So I mean, is there something to that? Whereas like your style may match how they play defense, or what? What would you think is behind that? Uh, I don't really get. I don't really. I just. To go out there and play and try to do the best that I can and, you know, just go out there and finish runs, you know, take uh, take advantage of my opportunities and try to help us win and, you know, whatever the stats or whatever, whatever it is, it is what it is, but I just try to go out there and play. What do you have to do, Derek, uh, for, for play action to be really successful? What do you have to execute very well? What do I have to execute in play action? You know, carrying out a fake or, or something like that. What, what do you have to do particularly well? I think you answered it. Just carry out a fake. <laughs> Try to get the defense to suck it up. I mean, I, I mean, you basically answered my question. So carry out a fake, I guess. I mean, yeah. What uh, is the reward for carrying out a good fake get, getting a hit? Say it again? Is the reward for, for being good on the fake getting a hit? Uh, it's, it's, it's good when um, AJ makes a great catch or – you know, they make an explosive play of Julio if somebody catches the ball and you know and um makes a big play, you know, it's it's all it's always worth it. But you know, you gotta be effective without the ball in your hands. Can you get a safety of play action plays, how important is the pass protection after that? How pass when you protection get a, always when you, sorry, important. when you get a safety to bite up on the play fake, how important for you is the pass protection once that happens? Pass protection is always important. So uh, that's is that's what it is. Uh, Taylor before, what, what, what do you like about the way he runs the football and have you told him that? Oh yeah, uh, me and uh, Jonathan are really good friends. Um, he's been running the ball very physical, he got speed, um, gets north and south, runs hard, and um, and Himes, they definitely a, a great tandem. Um, they've been playing good football um, and um, you know he's a, a great back. Colts have obviously kind of put it together to close the first game to you guys. How much improvement have you seen from their defense the last four weeks? Oh, they've been playing lights out, man, and you know, and uh, credit to them, and you know how how they've been playing overall. But defense has been playing lights out, getting the ball out, getting turnovers, um, flying around to the ball, um, on finishing games. So uh, the defense has been playing lights out. That's, I feel like that's how they always play, though. How many takes did it take to get that milk commercial right? Uh. I think I got it down the first one, but you know when you're trying to shoot something like that, you got to do it over, do it over and over again. Make sure they got everything that they need. But uh, that, def that definitely was fun. I know you're a low key guy, but I mean with what you're doing over the last couple of years, uh, are you a little excited about the national attention that you're starting to get? Uh, try to block out the noise. Like I mentioned, the gym. I think after the game, I forgot was that the Bills rat poison. 
not try to get too caught up in it, like Coach Sam used to say, but um, just trying to focus on me being the best teammate, best player, and um, you know, focus on getting better every week. Did you, you, know, did you have to take a swig of milk after every one of those takes? And how much milk did you end up drinking that <laughs> I drank I drank a little bit of it and I threw it down, and then um, I left the grocery store. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I've always uh, loved drinking milk. Um, my grandma used to always tell me milk, milk strength in my bones, so it's always stuck with me as a kid. So anything she told me, I always, you know, kept heavy emphasis on it and listened to. So. In addition to the Florida water. To the Florida water as well. Uh, what do you know, Derek? Um, I, I know you're kind of history student of the game. How much do you know about uh, Jim Brown? Obviously, never saw him play, but did you ever see a, a clip, an old? time clip of him or read about him or anything like that? Um, yeah, uh, you know, growing up, you know, I always loved the uh, running back position. And as I got older, you know, I always uh, watched NFL Network as a kid and they used to have like the running back of the 80s or the 70s and the 90s. And I used to always, you know, watch those highlights. And I seen um, some of Jim Brown. And you can they show some, show some um, you know, here here and there on TV. I think they showed, they might have showed one when the Browns played on Thursday night. I'm not sure. But um, we played in 2019. I actually got to go over there and uh, say hi to him. It was my first time seeing him in person and meeting him. But I think he's an icon, what he did for the game and how he was off the field. So, yeah, I got a lot of respect from Jim Brown. Anytime a running back name he's mentioned with his, it should be an honor. So what do you think, and, and maybe some of the clips that maybe you've seen, what did you think of his style? And is it an honor to, you know, that some people are putting your name up there with, with him, right? Oh yeah, um, legend. That's all. Like I can say, he's a legend, and um, you see it by the way he played, the stories you hear about him. Yeah. So like I said, anytime you get your name, your name get mentioned with his, it's definitely an honor.